welcome back to my channel i am so excited for today's video i feel like i say the same thing at every single video but it's because i truly am excited so today i wanted to do four different coffee table styles. crazy to say that we are getting um spring weather in north carolina but i'm not sure how things are in your state so let me know how the weather is on your state but if you work as a content creator you know that most people are pulling out bunnies which i think is a little crazy even thinking about it because i feel like i just got rid of christmas right um and went to the core so today i'm just going to give you a little um inspiration and also like ideas for spring sorry i keep looking at my viewfinder still looking at I do apologize so I'm going to give you guys four different coffee table styling for spring my style is a little different so you can take some ideas from what you like and tweak it to your own home but hopefully this inspire you and let's get started my friends so here is a overview on how my coffee table look I love the simplicity of this style for two reasons and I'm gonna share why so I have built-in um, within my fireplace as you guys can see and I love the fact that those built-in hold decor and also like family pictures and things like that. So I feel like if my coffee table is a bit too busy, it kind of like distracts from the built-in, if that makes sense. So I love the rule of thumb of if you have built-in, keep the coffee table simple. Um, some days I might go to the extreme, you know, but I like for the most part keeping it simple. So I love using this tray and also I, ha I have another oval tray that I love using in the center of my coffee table. I have a rectangular coffee table, so things might apply differently for you if you have a round table uh, depending on what shape table you have a glass table things work a little differently for everyone but i love the simplicity of this style just for those reasons alone but i love the fact that you can style it in different way as well so we're going to juice things up a bit and hopefully you know you guys love it i'll come back once i have the first style done so I got tons of questions about my flower arrangement in the last video. So guys, I finally found the same stem. It looks identical. It may not be the same because the stems of this particular one on my coffee table is brown, but the one I got is green. But the look, the color, the feel looks exactly the same. So I will do a dupe or a DIY of the same flower arrangements. I'm currently looking for the vase right now because this flower arrangement is very expensive and I personally got it during Black Friday and I love it, but I try replicating another one that looks just like this. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw it, but stay tuned for that video, you guys. You don't want to miss it. I am so excited to get it done for you guys on a budget. I also wanted to give you guys an update on the H&M candle. This is how it burns for me personally. I love the aesthetic, but it doesn't smell like anything to me. Maybe because I'm using it in a large space. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. I have my eyes out. If it comes back in stock, I will definitely notify you on my Instagram. Or also on my landing page. So if you're not following me on Instagram, the link will be down below. So we are starting with the first styling video. So for this style, I'm keeping every corner in mind. So if you have a guest from every corner of your coffee table, because I have a rectangular coffee table, there will be something interesting for them to see. So that's my vision as I'm styling this style, or I'm putting this style together. For this style, I have piece of decor in every corner because I have a rectangular coffee table. So you can use whatever flower arrangement you want to use in the center. And then you have interest on every corner of the coffee table. So every guest potentially have something pretty to see. Now on this side right here, I try to be reasonable. Let's, let's 
let's visualize there's an actual tissue box in here i feel like this is actually an essential on a coffee table especially on the conversation place so i love love this i also have a marble version of this one like the print you can definitely use something else let me so here is the marble print of the same tissue box i love this because it's convenient it's right there it is beautiful to look at but at the same time it serves purposes making your home cozy when you are you have guests over you can never go wrong with tea light candles so as you can see i have two with different height and i love them although they're not from the same collection but they have like the same design i absolutely love them and you can find like the tea light candles at ikea if you have if you have them um i got i think like a thousand or a hundred for under five dollars if i'm not mistaken and also right here i have a stone so this stone right here funny story enough i ordered it on ebay the color came it wasn't exactly what i wanted so what i did i spray painted this right here so it is I use a spray paint and it still has like that beautiful you can tell that it's a stone but it's not originally the piece that i order but i love that it works together again i like grouping things in three you must say especially when it comes for something like this because these pieces are quite small but you do have a little contracts with the coffee book and i love this coffee book i share that share this in my last coffee table styling video i got it from amazon it's just so pretty and it's texture really really love that so that is like one of the corners that i absolutely love and is an interest to your guests as well onto this side i have a candle now this candle can be a scented candle it's not just for aesthetic as well but to be truthful this candle smell like nothing maybe for someone else but i really don't smell anything burning this so i just love it for um aesthetic so what i have right here um let's just say you have a scented candle let me trim down my weight because the flame is not is, this is not what you want all right so we are back as you can tell the difference after i trimmed the wick so it's a good example right here to have a wick trimmer and I got this one, I believe, from Amazon. It's very simple. They have it now in so many colors. So if gold is not your thing, I actually got this with a candle like years back, but I love it. It's very useful. So you want to trim your wick first before um, lighting them on. And I also have a electric, electric lighter. I got this one as a gift, like about three years ago is rechargeable and it is it goes with my home aesthetic is nice um you know you pull it out to light up your candle trim see if it'll focus i love the fact that it's uh functional but at the same time it goes with my home aesthetic so on this coffee table book we have the candle the wick trimmer and also a lighter but it goes very well together and it's not like you're not looking for a trimmer or not looking for a lighter it's all part of your coffee table styling but is you know also very beautiful to the eyes so i really really love that so that is corner number three this side i cannot say how much this is my favorite way to style a coffee table all you need is a magnifier and i got this one from Tajay. i love it because you just open a book to a beautiful page that goes with maybe your home or maybe the season and you just add a magnifier glass to it and it's just so pretty i love it you can style this way or you can style it the way i had it previously which is like this you can do it that way but i think this gives more interest let's find a pretty page that we like okay so i'm gonna do this one it gives interest it gives you know a reason for your guests as well to pick up the coffee table book and read it i just really really love this have a little magnifier part of your coffee table styling i think it is a must it is very nice you can group this on a tray as well which i'll show like different way you can style with just one tray and still make a statement so that is it for style number
move a few things around on my built-in, I decided to move this a very beautiful white roses on the right side of my built-in and move the green orange eye trangers. I think I got it right now to the left of my built-in so it's like a flow and it pops on both sides. All right, for so this style, I feel like it's very simplistic. At the same time, it pops, right? So it popped because this vase is quite, quite tall. If you guys remember, I hauled this vase from West Elm last year, and I love it. So this is the medium size right here, and this is like the tallest vase. This vase is currently on clearance, so I'm not sure if it's still available, but I love the fact that it's just like, it makes a statement, it's not fighting with the TV, it's not fighting with the console, the chandelier still get a spotlight, but at the same time when you look here, you still see a pop of green, because when you walk in the room, in the room, this is what you see here. So if you're in the kitchen space, this is what you see as well. Um, again, I use one tray, and the way I did it, and you guys let me know, because this is the part where I wasn't certain, if I wanted to use a coffee book, but I added a coffee book, I added the same tea light candles with two different heights. And it's simplistic like this. You can also add your little pieces so you can still have your trimmer and your um, your lighter right there. It serves a purpose. You're not looking for a lighter if you have a scented candle that you want to burn. So it's right there, it's clean, it's nice. At the same time, it makes a statement. So the stem I picked up from Michaels last year is still available, so I will make sure to link it down below. The two vases are from West Elm, they're currently uh, discontinued. I bought it on clearance, you guys remember during Christmas season, and I know some of you has have purchased them as well, and you told me you love them. So I have the larger size on the left and also the medium side on the right, and the tray is from Lush Decor. I absolutely love it. It is quite the statement piece and quite an investment for your space if you really want like that special um simplistic place a very elegant tray as well the tea light candle the taller one is from at home store and the smaller one is from cb2 so i really love how the pop of green just go throughout and also you have the pop of black in the center of the coffee table that complements my fireplace mantle right here from Amazon last year and um, I love them I feel like if you really want like the realistic like stems get the one that has like the branch of the stems that looks brown so it really pulls in like the nature and how a tree actually looks like in nature so I really really love this one it's very inexpensive so I'll definitely make sure I link it down below and I forget if I forget to link anything please just send me a message or just leave a comment and I'll link it because sometimes it's hard to remember when I'm doing these styling videos As you can tell I feel like when you are styling your home whatever piece that you use um, for flower arrangement can change the aesthetic of your home now this one just bought so much nature I feel like the stem are so like realistic they look very realistic in my personal opinion and they're very beautiful but I don't feel like I'm getting that elegant feel it's beautiful but at the same time like if you look at my home I don't know maybe I'm overthinking it again but I love it I really 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 do it just you know it just I feel like it's giving me more of that organic plan look but you guys let me know maybe I'm overthinking it but I love it 
So let's start out with um, the center piece. Uh, the vase in the center is from CB2. You guys remember I shared this during Christmas. It came broken. They sent me another one. Its texture is beautiful. The stems are from Amazon. Love it. Shared that already. And I really love using the four corners again, but I just went lighter with everything else. Let's start out with right here. I use a coffee table book. The one thing about me, I'm shying away from using like texture book or books with just like a cleaner line. And you guys will see that in a minute. But for right now, I am using a, a diffuser with a candle. I love my taupe color. You guys know that. So I just have that right here. So it's a scented candle. It does what it needs to do. And also the diffuser I love because it just keeps your space smelling good and fresh without you doing anything. So it's there. I am obsessed with candle holders and tea light candles. So these two ones are from, I got these from the at home store. Now this was inspired by another content creator. I just, I'm so bad with names, but she shared these and I love them. And I went, ran to at home to see if I can find it. And I found it on McLaren's. And so there is that. It's white, it's beautiful. Um, so I have the smaller one and the larger one. Here is what I was referring when I'm talking about clean line books. So this is an example of it. I just love a clean line book. I just think it's like so much more elegant. And you know, I might it's just my personal preference right now. It might change down the road. I added a crystal jewel. I think that's what it's called right here. This one I got from Home Good. It's white, it's clean, it's beautiful. And right here I have a book that I absolutely love and also this knot that came from Target. I love this a lot. It's very pretty. And yeah, that's how this coffee table looks styling table it's beautiful look. it's different but it's still like very it's very elegant I just feel like it switched up my style a little bit let me know what you think but I still so to piggyback on what I was talking about if you're confused if you if you maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But I'm going to change the centerpiece in the center of this coffee table right now. It's not, this is our third styling piece. But I'm going to show you how it's going to elevate the space more versus like this greenery. Although there's nothing wrong with that because my style is still like orange, but I love a French french um aesthetic home like a french victorian um so i feel like i get the best of both for with this but let me show you what i'm talking about on how i can elevate it just a tad bit more by making it more like elegant and my style like although it's my style but you guys know what i mean like this is more organic but once i switch this up so if i switch this base up to this Then it's more elegant. Does that make sense? So again, same pieces, just switch up the center and look at that. I feel like this is like more elegant. Let me know what you guys think. Am I am I am I overthinking it? I just love what I love. Um, I feel like that that pop of green, I want that in my entryway, but this is like woo, so beautiful. I love, love this. Remember this vase is from H&M. I shared that in my last video. So if you want the haul to that, just watch that last video, my last styling video. But I feel like this is, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. This is, it's so me. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I love roses all year long. And I still love my pop of green. And the last styling video, I'm gonna show you guys how simple just one mega piece with no candle nothing no books makes your space look and that's definitely an rh5 so let's switch to that one right now so the final piece is truly a rh aesthetic it's just a bowl with moss so this i had like that natural looking moss in there but i'm going to add the green moss so you can really see how that really can elevate your space like i said this is not everybody's aesthetic and not everybody's cup of tea but you know 
it varies on the style that you want but there's so many ways to style a coffee table now i say if you don't like to do much to your coffee table if you like a more simplistic option definitely buy big substantial piece like big pieces that make a statement so before i used to buy like little trinkets here and there so i had to pull away from that and buy pieces that can be very functional in any area of my home this was outside and also i can use it all year long so i went ahead and put a trash bag on the wall because i'm going to transfer I'm going to switch over to the green moss and I know it's quite messy so if you're doing this make sure you are ready to tackle that mess and then head it up over your house. I also wanted to say like don't mind the curtains that's on the high back chair. I'm just trying different sample at the time um, of this video so don't mind it at all. It's the moss so this one in particular I added a cheaper one at the bottom and this green one I got it from um, RH. It looks so so realistic. I love it. It's very clean, beautiful and um, really true definition of nature in. So that is that. Let me see if I can style this huge piece with other books and see how it turns out. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I wanted to leave this special part in the video. So if you didn't know what was going on, I was styling the coffee table. The bowl was actually on my coffee table outside. When I went to get it, there was a snake there. And you guys, I was paranoid the whole time. Messed with my mind to the point that even this coffee table, this last one, I struggled just because I wasn't in the right phase of mind. So I saw the snake, Mother Nature, I just don't understand. It's like, it's February, we had like 78 degree weather. So I want to know what state you're from, how's the weather there? Because I heard in like some state like California having snow. While we in the south are dealing with summer weather and winter season. So I don't know. God is faithful. God is God. He will do what he will do. And there's nothing we can do about it, right? Um, but I'm happy to see, you know, some warmer weather. But I don't look forward to what summer brings or spring brings. But snakes all of that but anyway this styling video i was all over the places i wasn't in the right phrase of mind and to be honest i feel like with this bowl from Irish, it's so it's such a statement piece that you don't need anything else i tried different things with it i just felt like it was a bit much so i don't love it that way so at the end of it i'll end up removing it and kept the bowl on its own but i also have good news for you guys although i found the bowl from restoration hardware the moss of restoration hardware and i also mix it up with some from walmart i end up finding the same exact bowl with the moss already installed from kirkland so definitely check my link down below i hope this video inspired you i got hope you got some humor out of it i try to keep it you know very casual at the same time like Hopefully the aesthetic was there. So this is the final styling. Now I'm not going to lie, it's not my favorite. I feel like I like the bow alone. You guys let me know what you think. But again, here is how it look. I had the same tea light candle, but this one is from H&M, and I had a stack with a marble coaster, kind of, and then my diffuser. This bowl is from RH. The mouse, again, is from RH, but I did mix it up with some from, from Walmart. And then this B is from, I forgot what website I got it from. But the coffee book is from Amazon, my Jumbalon candle, and then this piece came from Bows and Design. I do have the larger size, but I didn't feel like adding the larger size. I felt like if I had a smaller one of this one, I probably would have done like two. 
but this is how it looks so that is it for this video i hope you guys love it let me know which one was your favorite i definitely have my favorite in the miss but i want to know your thoughts what other styling video would you like to see if you want me to do the same style or a different way of styling my console table in my entryway just we can just have a video just focus on that but hopefully this video inspire you and any link that i can possibly link be in the description box so check the link down below uh, please give me a like if you enjoyed this video and please give me a like because i had to deal with the snake while recording this video y'all it was not pleasant it is february it is 78 degrees outside and i was getting my final piece i saw a snake so that alone deserve a thumbs up okay because i was getting ready to quit on this last coffee table styling as you can tell i'm all over the place i'm sweaty i'm a mess i'm covered in bleach all because of the snake you guys so hopefully you love this hopefully they inspire you and i'll see you guys very soon in a brand new video bye Mwah. Thank you.